Okay, so how paper sizes in the U.S. work is A size paper is eight and a half by eleven, and then B size paper you take that page and you double it. So the way you double it is you take the larger measurement and that becomes the width, and you double the shorter measurement and that becomes the length. So A is eight and a half by eleven, B is twice as large, C is twice as large as that. So you take the seventeen and you double that by twenty-two. D again is twice as large, so it's 22 by 34. And then E is the largest paper usually. It's going to be 34 by 44. So a standard piece of paper out of a printer is A size paper. The standard uh, like floor plan of an architectural drawing, quarter inch to a foot scale, is usually D size. Um, C is sometimes mechanical parts. It's kind of a default. But if you look at the aspect ratio, which is the length divided by the width, so this is the aspect ratio of length by width. I'm going to do 11 divided by 8 and a half. 11 divided by 8 and a half, and I get 1.29. And I'm going to do the same thing here, 17 divided by 11. 17 divided by 11 is 1.54. I do that again here, 22 divided by 17, and it's 1.29. I do 34 divided by 22, and it's 1.54. Then I do 44 divided by 34, and it goes back to 1.29. So why this is kind of important is if you have a drawing and you want to keep it to scale and increase the size of paper, you have to go every other step. So either you have to draw it on eight and a half by 11, and then increase the image to C or E, or you're gonna lose the ratio of sides. Everybody understand that? So if I wanna do a small drawing of my house, I'd be better off drawing it in B size paper, and then I could just scale it up to D size paper. So there are a lot of problems with this system. But this is what the US uses, as well as Canada. So even though Canada's metric, um, they still use this paper sizing. However, the metric size paper is A0 is where they start. And the way it has to work is you want the ratio to be the same all the way down. So if the dimensions of this are A by B, then when I cut it in half, I want the dimensions of this to be the same ratio. So the ratio of my first piece of paper is the length to width, A to B, right Travis? And then the second one is now going to be B, B is my length now to my width, and this is half as long, so this is A, or this is one half A, right? So it's B to one half A, and those things have to be equal. So I set them equal to each other, I cross multiply to get one half a squared equals b squared. Um, I multiply both sides by 2 to get a squared equals 2b squared. And then I divide both sides by b squared. All right, so these are going to cancel out. And then I'm going to take square root of both sides. So if I take square root of both sides, I can see my ratio of A to B is equal to the square root of 2. And this is kind of how they, uh, the metric works. So it'll work in every time you scale it down. So whatever this is right here, whatever B is, well, actually, I'll just call it B. A has to be the same length as this times root 2. Are we with me there? So this is, root 2 is the same thing as 1.414. So whatever this is, this is 1.414 times longer. And what's cool about it is this is a full sheet of A0 paper. And using these dimensions, they wanted it to be equal to a full meter because it's a metric system. So here's a metric system, metric paper sizes. So we just do base times 
base times height equals one square meter, and then work, work backwards to find out what the lengths are, and that's going to be in millimeters. I, I don't really know what they are off the top of my head, um, but I'll do this times this equals one square meter and solve for B, and those are the dimensions. But what's cool about this, that's A0 paper. If I cut it in half, the aspect ratio stays the same. This sheet of paper is now A1, but the ratio of this to this is 1.414 to 1, or root 2 to 1. If I cut this in half, the aspect ratio stays the same. This is A2. Wait, let me scoot that over. This is A2 size paper. If I cut that in half, this is A3 size paper. I cut that in half. This is A4 size paper. Whoops, let's scoot that over to you, A4. I'm going to cut that in half. And this is A5 size paper. Right? But that A5, I think, I mean, I looked it up in standard measurements. I think it was like 8 and 3 quarters by like 12 or 12 and a half. So the size of paper in Europe is going to be A5 as a standard page. So again, these are your paper sizes in the US and Canada. Aspect ratios alternate every other size, whereas here the aspect ratio always stays the same, and they start with a dimension that equals one square meter. Okay.